Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate your time. Thank you for watching. A little bit of bad news this afternoon, and another assault weapon ban has passed. Before I jump into it, I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, and that's the USCCA. The United States Concealed Carry Association gets you ready for what happens before, during, or after an act of lawful self-defense. And God forbid you need to make that decision to protect yourself or others, the USCCA will be there for you in court when it matters the most. So join the over 650,000 responsibly armed Americans. And don't forget there's a 100% money back guarantee. And if you join this month in January of 2023, all new members will get this duffel bag. This is a pretty cool duffel bag. I've used it a few times already. It's got uh, two front pockets, extra pockets on the ends. Pretty cool, pretty sturdy. And uh, that's any new member. And if you join on the elite level, you get this survival pack. Now, I had to grab this survival kit out of my car because I actually keep it right in there in case I need something. I got some, some things I can turn to in an emergency. Check them out down below, uscca.com slash gng. And if you're a gun owner, at least check the link out. If it's not right for you, like I said, you get that money back guarantee. Let's get into today's video. Uh, it is 4 o'clock Eastern Standard Time as I'm recording this on January 10th. And about 20 minutes ago, the Illinois House uh, passed the assault weapon ban. It had passed the, assault, the House originally, went to the Senate. I told you about that video. The Senate passed it as fast as they could. They sent it back to the House of Reconciliation. They just passed it. It is now off to the governor, J.B. Pritzker, who has said he will sign this. So, Illinois, you will be getting your assault weapon ban, whether it's sometime today or tomorrow, but he wants to do it before the legislative session ends, and I think it's tomorrow or a couple days. But either way, it's going to pass. However, there could be a shred of good news here. Now, Dan Eldridge, who is the president of the Federal Firearms Licensees in Illinois, has vowed action. He has said they have counsel, they have national legal counsel, they've also raised enough funds to get this litigation going, and they'll be in federal court challenging this just as soon as it's signed. So, that's good news. Literally, as soon as J.B. Pritzker's chubby little hands sign this piece of legislation, violating the rights of every law-abiding citizen in the state of Illinois, because this will do nothing to stop crime, this will do nothing to stop criminals from criminaling, this will do nothing to stop the shootings in Chicago, this will only make you, if you live in Illinois, it'll make you a sitting duck, make you more of a, of a victim in waiting. And that's what they want. They want victims so they can just, you know, give you more government and they can govern you harder, daddy. That's exactly what they want. But the challenge is ready and it will be going right away. <coughs> Sorry, just had a coughing fit. Some more good news literally just came out as I am filming this for immediate release. Perry County State's Attorney David H. Searby Jr. and Perry County Sheriff Chad Howard are jointly announcing their opposition to the legislation contained in House Bill 5471, which includes a gun ban, gun registry, and generally infringes on the rights of citizens. State's Attorney Searby and Sheriff Howard point out that the ban would involve banning firearms that are in common use for any and all lawful purposes and that it is inconsistent with the decisions of the United States Supreme Court in such cases as District of Columbia versus Heller, Catano versus Massachusetts, and more recently, New York State Rifle and Pistol Association versus Bruin. Sheriff Howard stated, A little over a month ago, I took my oath of office as sheriff, and part of that oath was to protect and defend the Constitution of the United States, including the Second Amendment. The provisions of House Bill 5471 are clearly in violation of the Second Amendment, and my deputies and I will not be enforcing this unconstitutional law against law-abiding citizens. Once again, we see that those in control in Springfield pass unconstitutional legislation in the waning hours of a legislative session, in a backdoor method, just like they did with the Safety Act. In this case, it affects Second Amendment rights of all citizens in Illinois, whether in Chicago or Perry County. And this is State Attorney uh, Searby. This legislation basically bans objects and property that law-abiding individuals have legally owned for years, and in some instances, decades while allowing them if you register them with the Illinois State Police. My office will exercise prosecutorial discretion in these types of cases. I'm told other state's attorneys and their, their coinciding sheriffs will be putting out, uh, more of them will be putting out releases today, and that's good because law enforcement should not enforce unconstitutional laws, right? Especially sheriffs, because you, sheriffs, are the highest law enforcement uh, ranking official in the county, and it all runs through you. 
Even the Illinois Sheriff's Association had a public statement recently. They said, after reviewing the proposed legislation, the Illinois Sheriff's Association is opposed to HB 5855, its original number. Sheriffs support the rights provided under the Second Amendment to the United States Constitution and believe that this proposal is a clear infringement on the rights of citizens to legally possess these weapons. And that's what we need. We need law enforcement to come out against these unconstitutional tyrants and we need the people to stop frigging electing them. Combine what these sheriffs just said with the fact that the lawsuit is ready and Illinois is in for a fun time. Guys and gals, thank you so much for your time. If you can, if you head over to thegundies.com, I am up for two, uh, two awards. One is the top voices of the 2A, the other is the most influential male. Now, I don't know about being an influential male, but I do strive to be the top voice of the 2A, so if you think I have earned your vote, then head over to thegundies.com and you can vote every single day. Every time you do vote, you're entered to win uh, a ton of cool prizes and the grand prize is actually getting sent all the way to Texas for the ceremony itself. So guys and gals, thank you for your time. I appreciate you more than you know. Be safe, stay vigilant, and carry a gun to keep you, your friends, your family, your community safe. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.